Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how I made this really cool and super easy melting text effect using Photoshop and Illustrator. You can use this effect to make some really nice designs, posters, or any type of artwork. Let's get started! Start off by typing your text in Illustrator by pressing T. This can be in whichever font you want, but I highly recommend you use a bolder uppercase font since it'll allow it to send out more and be more impactful. Now I'm just going to adjust the size and spacing a bit. There we go. Now once you have your text, you can change this to any color you want. I'm just going to leave it at this blue color. Now alt click on my text to duplicate it. And I'm just going to drag one to the side to have a copy just in case I want to change it later. Now I'll click again and drag this one directly below it. For this I'll change the color to an off-white color. I personally don't like the true white color but you can use it if you want. Now click and drag over both of your texts. Press W to select your blend tool. Click on both your texts. And now you'll see that it kind of starts to blend a bit so to make this look a lot better I'll just double click on the blend tool, change it to specified steps, and do something like 800. Now you can see that it looks a lot better, but we want to go from top to bottom, so press A to select your direct selection tool, select your top anchor points, and drag it down over the second one. Now save both of your images as PNG files. I'll save one of my 3D or melt effect, and one of just the text alone. Once you have those saved, go ahead and open up Photoshop. Create a new file. I'm going to name it Melting Text. These are the dimensions and resolution I use for social media. And also make sure your bit depth is set to 8 so that you're able to use filters. Click OK. Now to create my background, I add a new layer. Go to Edit, Fill, and click Black. Then just lower the opacity a bit. Now place both of your files that you saved earlier, and make sure that they're both lined up. You can move them around and scale them by pressing Ctrl T. Then select both of your layers, alt click and drag to duplicate them. And I'm just gonna press Ctrl G to create a group with my copies of the text. You can go ahead and hide your 3D text layer, rasterize your text layer by right clicking, and double click on the icon to open up your blending options. Here we are just going to change the color to black, now duplicate this one once again by pressing ALT and dragging. For this one we will remove the color overlay and add a stroke. I'll change this to 4 and change the position to center. Also make sure your fill is set to 0 to make the inside transparent. I'm also going to change my stroke to a light blue color. Now rasterize your stroke layer and check bevel and emboss. These are the adjustments I made. Now select the layer with your color overlay and add an inner shadow. You can also add a subtle inner glow. Once you're done, double click to rename your layers. Next, you will add a layer above your stroke. While it's selected, press Alt and click on your stroke to create a clipping mask. Press B to select your brush and press Alt and select the lightest color. I adjust the hardness by pressing Alt and right clicking and while holding Shift I draw a line across the bottom to blend my text into the 3D effect layer. I repeat this on the top line of the text as well. I also change the blending mode to lighter color. Now this is optional but what I like to do is Shift select my layers, go to Edit, Transform, and distort it as well as change the perspective. Add a curves layer above your melting text layer and create a clipping mask. Now I adjust the curves to make the colors pop. After that I add a new layer, I'll head over to edit, fill, and make this one 50% gray. After that I head over to filters, add noise, and change the blending mode to overlay. Now this is just gonna add a bit more texture to our composition, and around 20 I feel looks the best. Now we will add another layer beneath our curves adjust the color and opacity of our brush 
And with this, I'll just create a slight shadow, change the blending mode to hard mix, and also lower the layer's opacity. After that, I create a mask, and with my brush, I erase where I want there to be fewer shadows. Once you're done, select your melting text layer, along with its two clipping masks, alt click, drag upwards, now hide the ones beneath it, press ctrl E to join the three layers, now this will be your new 3D layer. After that, head over to filter, liquify, and here is where we will finally add the melting effect. So what I do here is just alt right click to increase the size of my brush. And typically, you'd want to drag this all the way down, but for this one, I will give it a more subtle look, so I will push it upwards first. Make sure to not distort your text, just make sure the melting effect is barely touching the bottom of your text. After that, I make the size of my brush a lot smaller, and here I just add some spikes coming off of the edges of the letters. Here I feel that less is more, so try not to make your composition feel too cluttered by adding too many spikes. Now I select my smudge tool, lower the strength, and I'll use this to soften up those edges. After that, I add a clipping mask above our 3D layer and name that Inner Shadows. Then change the blending mode to soft light, add another curves layer, and these were my adjustments for that. Now duplicate these three layers, join them by pressing Ctrl E, and convert the layer to a smart object. Now you'll add motion blur. I set the blending mode to screen and lower the opacity. This will just give it a subtle glow. Add a curves layer for the overall composition. I will also add a mask to both my blur layer and my 3D layer, just to fade out those spikes even more. Now finally, I add just a few more adjustment layers, and here is where you get to experiment with the colors. So if you're following along, just use similar values to mine. Now as a final adjustment, I add this brown paper texture, I set the blending mode to divide, and just lower the opacity a bit. And you're done! If you'd like to change the colors, you can also adjust your gradient map and your hue and saturation layers. Also for some added glow, you can add some layers above your composition, when with a soft brush, just add some subtle lights on the edges. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, Feel free to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on my other socials, which will be on the screen and in the description below. But that'll be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.